Agudin. Including one of the guys that Todd Eldridge and Elvis Stoiko and Evgeny Plushenko have a bullseye on. How do you stop the three-time world champion, Alexei Agudin? And you can use props in the interpretive free skate. And this gladiator number becomes even more intricate and now dangerous as he wields a pair of knives. I think it's important for us to emphasize how amazing three consecutive world titles are in this age of skating. An indication that Alexei never stands on his laurels, doesn't expect anything or nothing. One of the hardest working world champions ever. in the world. Agudin, the three-time world champion, the gladiator, one skater left, one of the greatest of all time, Kurt Browning at the Sears Figure Skating Open on CTV. Come March, we are going to be gladiatored out because Alexei has gladiator, Elvis has gladiator, the Academy Awards will be on, and the, you know gladiator is going to be nominated. Who will win the battle of the gladiators in Alexei Yagudin 
This wasn't quite the gladiator routine we have seen in the past. A little flat. It was flat tonight. I, I loved, however, the way he used some of the more what might be considered rest period moves. But this was an expressive part of the whole. He used it very well. Now, I think he was working hard at the performance tonight, which is maybe an indication that it, it wasn't as uh, true, as spontaneous as Todd's, for instance. I don't think he's that happy with his performance either. Even as he came off the ice, he knew. 5-7 there, 5-8. Five five he does get first place five ordinals eight. across the board. Yehudin is first, Todd Eldridge is second, and only one skater five left nine, five to try eight. to knock off five nine, Alexei Yagudin, the three-time world five champion nine, who, come March, nine. looks to join the guy on the ice as a four-time world champion. 